Good evening, good day, good morning, Watch 71. We are sitting here in the BFG studios with Mr. E.M. Mpatlele, the first independent candidate for our ward. How are you, Mr. Mpatlele? I'm doing such great, Anele, and how are you? Oh, great. I'm great. I hope you're feeling great. It's campaigning season. Yeah, it's, it's time we, 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 we turn the tables around. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I feel so empowered and amplified. Uh, uh, politically, yeah, spiritually, yeah. in every sphere of my my experiences, that I'm, I'm I want to to do as much for our community. Yeah, it's mm. a great it's a great season to be in and, and for South Africa to begin this journey with World Seventy One. We are happy to have you here. Um, so, as a family man and a community leader, how do you balance the both? parts of your life when it's it's so much responsibility on your end yeah Anale, i think uh, as a family as a family man you, you i i need to 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 make as much time that uh, my my family needs mm -hmm. but i i realize i need to balance be, between being a family man and a community leader mm -hmm. uh, but now uh thanks to to my wife and the family that I have, they support me in all things. Yeah, no, uh, being a community leader, it's something that uh, we, we talk about uh, all the families coming into a, a communal uh, space as a community now. And now the community uh, needs to realize that we have got a leader within our, with, within our, our ward so that he can take it take us somewhere where we, 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 we can attain our expectations. Mm -hmm. But uh, during what we experienced in the pre previous and former terms, uh, those five-year terms of our councillors, we, 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 we never realized a, a democratic change around our com com communities and societies. Mm -hmm. That's why now we, it's very, we, we, we need that. We need the change around our community. Yes, yes mm. that's true. Um, what derives you from from being just a community leader into being a ward ward leader? What do you stand for? Yes, uh, most of my life uh, time I have been a community leader ever since, and now I realize I do not have uh, municipal power, the power beyond to access in the municipality. Things when I made I write grievances and all those leading the community uh, issues and and uh, uh, those aspectorate uh, matters that need to be uh, directed to municipality for the responses and answers. But unfortunately, we are hitting a rock. Mm -hmm. Though it's high time as an independent candidate for what 71 to make things right. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I'm the best choice of the community since our community rally behind me and they, they have got so much trust in me and confidence that uh, I, I'm going to take and them to, to where they need. All right, um, that's great. So, so what do you think makes you different, and what is the strategy for achieving the greatness in the community and in your campaign? You know, as a mouthpiece uh, that stands in the gap to, to, to voice out on behalf of the community, and now uh, versus the the municipal deployee, I I I I I think uh, we we need that power. So that uh, the 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 the, the municipally addressed issues can be can be fixed. Uh, in this instance, where now uh, I've been a political, uh, I'm uh, sorry, I've been a, a community leader for a long enough time, and with with that, I realize more experience that uh, I can I can take it to furthest dimension into becoming a ward councillor. And now uh, I've been highly motivated ever since. I, I do the best for the community. And this time I realized the opportunity to make sure that uh, things that have been long awaited as expectations by a community needs to be achieved. And that's what I'm, 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 I'm compassionate about and I'm devoted to do that. I've got much of time as I'm prepared within my family, as a family member, as a community. Now, I, I, we need to address issues that uh, they are pertaining as per uh, the, the needs of our community and society. So we, those need to be addressed. We cannot address the, the community issues while just sitting in a mass meeting with the, the community. And that's, that, that's another strategy where now uh, our 
maybe those who have been taken this position as what councillor fail to do. As a what councillor, people expect mass meetings to be organized. I need to convene mass meetings so that let me receive their mandate. What do they need to be to be achieved? I may bring the independent, uh, I mean the, 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 the integrated development plan, the IDP, uh, which now uh, municipality wants to facilitate within our, our community, infrastructures, all those related developments. But we, 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 we need to hear from our community what do they want, what, do, what really that, the first things that uh, they need they realize the, their essentiality around our community. Yeah, because it's mm. all about the people. It's all about what they want. It's all about that. And that's why you've decided to take this route as a leader. Precisely. The community. Where, do you see, where do you see the communities at large in your five-year term? Uh, I see a huge improvement because now, uh, in, 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 in my articulate uh, advocacy, I need to do as much more to make sure that we, 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 we achieve and attain what is best for the community. Within this five-year term, I need to work harder. And I, I, I know I'm, I'm a workaholic spirit person. I have done that before, but now, this time, I know people, they rally behind me. Uh, the community surround uh, 171, which begins there at uh, around extension 6, is Kathleeny, David Thorne coming to this side, Alliance, all the extensions of Alliance around the Moda B prison. And there too, you go deeper there to Lindelani side, side of Sheikhs. And we are one thing, we are one community as a, as, as a whole. And we need to have a common vision. Uh, that's what I'm about to do, to make sure that uh, there is not that much differences around our communities. Sure. Um, you, you have, you are one man with such a great responsibility for the communities at large. Uh, it's, it's very scary for some people to take that on because they fear the responsibility behind it and they fear uh, the actions that might occur after. So we applaud you here at the BFG study studios for the work that you do for the communities at large. Now, can you, can, you give us, can you give us a little bit of motivation from your end? Leave us with just a motto for the day. Can you tell the community um, who Mpahlele is? Actually, Mpahlele is a solution-driven uh, person, and more especially in this uh, candidacy of the independence. Uh, I, I realize as much as uh, the community is aspired to, to, to achieve. And, and, and now, uh, you, as a political person, uh, sometimes you, you, are, you, are, you are being unstrangled or being entangled to, 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 to some other agreements. But now, as an independent, one man like you indicated, a one man uh, who, who stands in this gap, to epitomize the, the, the entire communities of uh, Watt 71. I need to take that huge responsibility. Yes, it's a, it's a huge step to advocate on behalf of our community and society. But now, uh, it, it also needs compassion uh, with my passion to, to make sure that I, I do it. And I have to work hand in class with the, the community and the Watt committee that I will be having. Hence, the, the, the community vouched to vote for me. Now, uh, you could as well uh, uh, remember way back that uh, uh, the, the, the most of the ward councillors do not convene those mass meetings, where now we need to do some proper, we need to liaise proper consultations when coming times of projects and, uh, and those tenders, which... Uh, People, uh, political elements, more especially, uh, they, they try to manipulate the system where they do not utilize the tender policies and uh, the pr procurement policies that must be in hand uh, uh, in conjunction with the, with the projects that are being uh, decided for the consent and respective communities. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, 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 we need to combat uh, the, the crime. We need to uh, alleviate corruption. Yes. Because now corruption is it, it destroying and condemning our, our society, our community, our youngsters. We need the youngsters to grow in the knowledge that uh, they can realize we, 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 we are 
coming as a, a, a developed society, a developed country, civil society that uh, take care of their things. No public violence. You, you see, these things that uh, people always uh, feel about as community, they are taking our community nowhere because now uh, you, you, you need to grieve about things that uh, municipal, municipality should hence take that responsibility to come to the community and make sure things are done. You, 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 you name it, infrastructure, the youth programs, you, you name them, uh, men and women forums, that uh, we, we need to hear their needs. We need to come together and make sure now we, we, we become a good society, a community that uh, can achieve anything at any time. So when you, when, when you work with community, you, 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 you know you never go wrong. Because now, the communities are those who give you the mandate. The, the mandate that you need to serve them for the best of their interests in the municipality. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need. I think, I think it's going to be a, 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 an excellent competition yeah. around these uh, elections. But now, uh, and, 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 and God really knows that uh, we, 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 we are trying to make sure that our community deserves that best and they will get it. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's wise words from Mr. E. M. Pashele here at the BFG Studios. Um, thank you so much for being here with us, Mr. Pashele. It's been such an honor, and we look forward to to the work that you are yet to do for Ward 71 and the people's expressions of you and the taking of you. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Yes, uh, I, I thank you, Anele, uh, uh, so for having me. And remember, as a ward councillor, I need to go all, all out, uh, making sure that there are some other projects that need to be uh, fundraised for. Yeah. Because now we cannot rely on the, uh, the, the, the subsidy that covers all the budgets for the in, in, inter, I, I, what you call uh, IDP, yeah. in Integrated Development Plan, that brings the infrastructure to the community. As a ward councillor, you need to fundraise, you need to develop a technique on how to fundraise and make sure within that five-year term, uh, most of the things are covered. Yes, and thank you for our our community to rally behind me because uh, our community really uh, they they are civil. They know what is good for them, and they know the best choice of the community, the, the best choice of their representation that he or she might be taken to the municipality. And I, as Emmanuel Mohol and Pasele, I'm, I'm I'm really determined. I've got this determination and. Uh, uh, to, to make sure that things are happening mm. around our community. Mm. Mm. All right, and it's a wrap, communities. We look forward to seeing who we choose as a unit. So, good night. <laughs>